I'm continuing my topic that I was talking about yesterday about anxiety. I know a lot of people deal with anxiety and it can keep you from sharing about the Lord or even going around people or really stepping out and doing anything because really what's behind it when you take a closer look is fear. So if you're dealing with anxiety and you just seem to not be able to stop, let's take a look at some things that, you know, may be causing it. Like how about you're afraid to do something, maybe go and hang out with some people or date, or I don't know, go look for another job. Maybe it's because you, you have a fear of being rejected, being rejected from that person or not getting the job. Fear of saying the wrong thing. What about fear of things that could happen? My husband or boyfriend could leave me. There's a food shortage. I could starve. The followers of Christ, if you take a look at it, we're being fearful of things that may or may not happen. Some things we may have control of or may not even control, of, but we're just worrying and it's making us sick. It's making us have um, my heart's racing, my stomach's hurting, I've got headaches. I don't wanna get up in the morning. I don't want to go around other people because I'm afraid that I'm going to be rejected or I don't know, I'm just afraid to be around other people. This is why it's really important to stay in a close relationship with the Lord and go through his whole word because you're going to come across even examples of how other people, you know, that we read about in the Bible, how they dealt with it and even God through his Holy Spirit teaching us how we are to deal with it. But instead, we do what everybody else tells us to do. Take this medication or go eat a bunch of food or watch a bunch of TV or sleep it off or take this drug or go get drunk. They're all just temporary band-aids. And I am gonna um, do some videos on what I'm finding out there that what the world has to offer. But it takes time to go and research and put the videos together. But I just wanted to talk about this a little bit just to get you all thinking and um, get you to start looking in the word about this. Don't let your hearts be troubled. Trust in God and trust also in me. That's what Jesus said. That's a good place to start. And that's John 14, 1.